Mike. Welcome back to the shop. Well, I've received the uh, replacement parts in the mail today, so uh, we're ready to begin our rebuild of the single rail gearbox. Before we can assemble the input shaft uh, into the gearbox, we need to press in the bearing. Um, we'll have basically a three-piece assembly. There is a um, what looks like a washer um, or a spacer. This is actually uh, this fits in between the gear and the bearing. This actually helps uh, reduce the amount of oil leakage that is passing through um, or passing out the front um, before it gets to the scroll um, the scroll seal. As you can see, this is how it will be oriented on the the um, um, the bearing. Uh, it allows for enough oil to get in um, to lubricate the bearing, but uh, it's not a major leak path. So we'll uh, in install this, press the bearing onto the shaft using the um, shop press. Okay, in order to press the bearing in, I've installed the input shaft um, over or inside of a bearing separator um, and then I'm going to put this arbor plate between the arbor press and the uh, input shaft so that we don't damage the gear. The next step in the process is to uh, install the input shaft um, into the gearbox. Uh, before we can do that, we've got a little bit of uh, assembly work to do. Um, we've got to put the uh, split ring in for um, to hold the bearing against the front of the uh, gearbox. We've also got um, a, uh, um, or a C clip and a washer that goes on the front face of the um, the bearing and we've also got to install the um, cage needle bearing as well as uh, the two washers that um, hold that in place on the inside of the, the input shaft. So let's uh, go about doing that. First thing first, uh, let's, let's put this, the uh, clip in that's it that was it that simple then we put the washer in on top between the the bearing and uh, the c-clip so we just slide the c-clip in place once I get it over the shoulder here and then just snap it in place One more shoulder to go over. I'm going to need the clip tool. Install it into the clip holes. And then just continue to slide it. Alright, and then press it down in. Okay, that's now into the groove. So now the bearing is uh, fully captured. Um, it won't move off the shaft. Okay, then on the inside, okay, there's the bulk ring. Um, we're going to put the, the cage inside here. We're going to make sure that we grease that cage uh, uh, really well and uh, put the uh, um, the, the retainers in place there. The retainers are two different sizes so I'm going to go back and refer to uh, my assembly diagram make sure that I orient this the correct way. So I'm not sure which side goes first. So I'm going to take a look at that and then we'll come back and uh, grease everything up. Okay I referred to the uh, assembly diagram. The larger diameter goes in first then the uh, needle roller cage bearing and then uh, the smaller diameter 
uh, ring. So um, I'm going to put install this first, then I'm going to put a sufficient amount of grease onto, and su sufficient is a subjective term, but put enough grease on here. Um, actually, just install it. Just glop it on, make sure I've got enough in the rollers. There's probably a, a, a less messy way to do this, but I love the smell of grease. Alright, stick it into the shaft and then install the small ring on the outside. Okay, I'm going to clean that up just a little bit.